Okay. So, hey everybody, uh, my name is Tom Jones, otherwise known as Elvis, that's my nickname. Uh, I just spent last week in Las Vegas, so they were both appropriate. I'm going to talk about AI, uh, and this is a picture of me. Uh, it's not my ego, this is just the only picture I had. This is my face, um, stylized using a project called Neural Style, which you know, does edge detection. And if you detect all the edges in a picture, Everything that's not an edge is a style. So then you end up with edges and styles. So you can mix and match pictures and styles. So that's my picture stylized with uh, the style from a famous painting. And I'm sorry, I can't tell you what painting it is because I don't know, but that's me. Okay, so I work for this company that does this. They ship boxes, all or little cardboard boxes all around the world. And I'm sure everybody's familiar with that. But the other thing that we do is we do um, the Alexa development and we do the cloud computing aspects. So, uh, but AI is a big part of all of those businesses. So real quick, a glossary or definition, machine learning and deep learning are subsets of AI. They're all kind of munched together interchangeably and if you're really nerdy, then you know the difference. But we're just going to throw them all together. And like I said, Amazon's been doing this for over 20 years and really focused on that. So I want to talk briefly, there's a lot of words on this slide, but talking briefly about the opportunity for machine learning, and it's unprecedented. So as we just saw in the previous presentation, that uh, hockey stick, right? The ability to create an infinitely flexible function is game changing. And what that means, and I love this quote at the bottom here, it says, friends don't let friends code. What, what people do is they build models, and the models use the data to generate the code. And that's why data is key. And if you look at some of the most valuable companies in the world today, companies like Google and Facebook, they're valuable because of the data they have. And this is going to increase. So if you have a company and it's creating data, hang on to it because that's going to be your most valuable asset because you'll be able to use it to generate code. Now it's not just that, so, so it's not just the, the data that's in the cloud, it's also the data at the edge. So data is important, the edge is important. This picture is a picture of a device that we just launched at the end of last year. This is an HD camera and it has the compute capacity on it so that it can run trained machine learning models on the device. So you can do things in the field and, and do, like I was showing the edge detection, that's one uh, option, but you can do lots of things with that. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it as easy as possible to utilize this type of technology. So if you think about machine learning, you know, that was typically somebody who's a data scientist and really, um, you know, spent years learning that. We're now taking this through tools like SageMaker. It's kind of a small font for the folks in the back of the room, but uh, SageMaker is one of our tools where you can write the model and then run it. Okay, why is that important? How is it used? Here's an example. So this is a heat map that was created using cameras in a store in Japan. And what it's showing in real time is where the consumers are spending their time which products are most interesting and which ones aren't. So this gives information on perhaps what needs to be restocked and what doesn't. Okay, so one of the things I like about working at Amazon is Amazon thinks big and they challenge me to think big every day. And we would love for you to join us in that thinking big. So here's a link. We've got a number of job openings in each of those areas that I mentioned. Uh, the cloud computing side, which is my side, the Amazon.com marketplace, and the Alexa team. Thank you very much.